Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on advantages and disadvantages of binary search tree. Okay, first point in advantages, binary search tree is fast in insertion and deletion operations etc when balanced. Okay, so binary search tree is very fast in insertion and deletion operations when tree is balanced. Okay, whenever the binary search tree is balanced, the height of the binary search tree is as low as possible. Okay, whenever the height of the binary search tree is small or low, then insertion of an element into a existing binary search is done very fastly and also deletion of an element from the binary search that can be done very fastly okay because the height of the binary search tree is as small as possible then insertion and deletion operations can be done very fastly next second point binary search tree is very efficient and its code is easier when compared to the linked list code. Okay, so in this one there are two points are there. First one is binary search tree is very efficient. How can you say that? Binary search tree is very efficient because insertion and deletion and searching of an element can be done very fastly because Suppose we are inserting an element into the binary search tree, that key element is compared with the root node. Okay, if it is greater, go to the right subtree. If it is lesser, go to the left subtree. Okay, because each and every node contains its key value. Okay, now our key element is compared with the node's key value. Okay, according to that, we have to insert an element or delete an element from the binary search tree and searching an element from the binary search tree. So these are these can these operations can be done in an efficient manner because each and every node contains its value that is stored in the node. Okay. So, because of that reason, we can say that binary search tree is very efficient. Next, its code is easy when we are compared to the linked list code. So, everybody feeling that linked list code is very big, very, very big. It is very difficult to understand. But if you are understanding the linked list concept, it is very easy. Okay. Next, third point, duplicate keys or elements are not allowed in BST. Okay, in the case of binary search tree, in the given elements, any duplications are there. So that duplicated elements or keys are not allowed for insertion into the binary search tree. Okay, so these are the three advantages of binary search tree. Now coming to the disadvantages. Okay, first one, the shape of the binary search tree totally depends on the order of insertions and it can be regenerated. For the same key elements, we can get the different shape BST. Okay, so for this one, now we have considered this example. Okay, now in this example, so there are 13 elements are there. So 13 elements, first element is 25. Next element is 42. 42 is compared with 25. It is greater. Go to the right subtree. Okay. Next 30. 25 is compared with 30. So 30 is greater. Go to the right subtree. Here 42 is there. 42 is compared with 30. 30 is less than 42. Go to the left subtree. So in this way, we have to insert 13 elements into the binary search tree. We are getting this binary search tree. 
Okay. Now, what is the height of the binary search tree? So, this is level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. Okay. So, height is 4. Okay. Simply, we can say that a height of the binary search tree is big O of log n. Big O of log n. Okay. So, this is the minimum. Minimum height of the binary search tree is big O of log n. Okay. Now, the same elements, but we have to change the order of that elements. Okay. So, I am shuffling that elements, these 13 elements in this way. Okay. So, now I am constructing the binary search tree. Here, root node is 47. Next node is 45. 45 is less than 47. Go to the left sub tree. Next element is 42. 42 is compared with 47. It is lesser. Next, go to the left sub tree. Here, 45 is compared with 42. It is lesser. Go to the left sub tree. In this way, we have to construct the binary search tree. Okay. For the same elements, for the same 13 elements, okay, we are constructing the binary search tree. So, this is the binary search tree and this is another binary search tree. What is the difference between them? Okay, here order of the elements can be changed. Order of the elements can be changed. Here 47 is there, here 25 is there. Here 45 is there, here 42 is there. Okay, we have to change the order of insertions. Because of that reason, the shape of the binary search tree is uh, different. The shape of the binary search tree we are getting is completely different shape. Okay, here height is a uh, big O of log n. Here height is big O of n. Okay, so this is the maximum. Maximum height is big O of n and uh, minimum height is big O of log n. Okay, how much time it can take? So there is big O of log n time. Here big O of n time. Okay, so the time complexity of the binary search tree in average case and uh, in average case and best case is big O of log n. In worst case is big O of n. Okay, so this is the big O of n we are getting. Okay, so now consider this point. The shape of the binary search tree totally depends on the order of insertion. In which way we are performing the insertion operation in the binary search tree. Because of the reason, we can get different binary search trees. Okay. Next one. Second point. It takes a long time to search an element in a BST. Because key value of each node has to be compared with the key element to be searched. Okay. So searching operation. In the binary search tree, searching operation can take more time because every, uh, ev every uh, whatever the key element we have to search, that key element is compared with the uh, elements either in the left subtree or in the right subtree. So because of that reason, more number of comparisons we have to take in based on the position of the ele key element. Okay, for example, so our key element is 37. Okay, I want to search key element 37 in the binary search tree. So first 37 is compared with 25, it is greater. Go to the right sub tree. Here 42 is there, 37 is compared with 42, so it is lesser. Go to this left sub tree. 37 is compared with 30, it is greater, 37 is greater. Go to the right sub tree. Now 37 is compared with 37. Okay. So our key element is found at this position. Okay. So our search is a successful. Okay. Now searching operation depends on the height of the binary search tree. Okay. How many number of comparisons we have taken? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 comparisons are taken. So, searching operation in a binary search tree depends on the height of a 
binary search tree. Okay, for that one, how many number of comparisons we have to take in? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, every element, every element either in the left subtree or in the right subtree. So, our key element is compared with the nodes key element, nodes key value. So, because of that reason, if the height of the binary search tree is more, then the searching operation can take more time because our searching element value is compared with the nodes key element value, nodes value. Okay, so this is the second point. Next, third point, height of the binary search tree is not under control. Okay, is not under control because it depends on how elements are inserted. Okay. So, height of the binary search tree is not under control in the case of binary search tree because it depends on the way of inserting an elements into the binary search tree. Now, consider these exam these, this example. Here, 13 elements are inserted. The same 13 elements are also inserted. Okay. We are getting different shapes by inserting 13 elements into the empty binary search tree according to the first point. But here, height is also changing. Okay. So, here the same 13 elements height is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Height of the binary search tree is 4. Okay. For the same 13 elements, we are changing the order of insertions. Okay. Height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Height of this binary search tree is 9. Height of this binary search tree is 4. What is the difference between them? The way of the way of order of inserting an elements into the binary search tree. Because of the reason, the height of the binary search tree is increased. Here it is 4, here it is 9. Okay. So height of the binary search tree is not under control because it depends on how elements are inserted. Okay, only height depends on how elements are inserted. Okay, so these are the advantages, disadvantages of binary search tree. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So Devela Srinivasara. Next, to overcome these limitations, any new binary search tree is there as one version of binary search tree is there that is called as ABL tree. Okay, so the introduction to ABL tree can be discussed in the next video. Thank you.